back with the long leaf NV200 night vision binoculars and as you saw from the short unboxing by slideshow now I've got the 50mm lens to compare with the 35mm lens so it comes well packaged and boxed uh, in the box you also get the uh, weatherproof o-ring there instruction manual cleaning cloth so this is the latest lens that's come out for it now standard lens is 35mm this one is 50mm and I believe they're coming out with a 75 and a 100mm lens as well eventually so it will just improve the image quality so let, each lens is slightly bigger and letting more light in so uh, that'll be good both day and night it's a 4k uh, compatible night vision binocular but yeah, that is the lens. As you can see, it's uh, quite big. So, what I intend to do is uh, probably do a, a video and a picture with the 35mm lens, and I'll do exactly the same with the 50mm lens, and we'll, we'll compare them. Let's say it, it will make all the difference when you, if you zoom in out. So obviously it's, it won't be as pixelated and it should let more light in as well so night time it should be better but we'll, we'll get to find all that out uh, also before you install your lens it's worthwhile going onto the website and making sure that your firmware is up to date now since this came out there's been three firmware updates I think one was in October uh, one was in January and there's one come out to, uh, I think in, I'm not sure if it's end of March or, or April. So I've, I've now updated the firmware, it's fairly easy to do. Uh, if you take the SD card out, the micro SD card, put it into your computer, download the firmware and drag and drop it directly onto the card. Uh, and you put the card in, switch it on you'll see the bar come up and it will load in the firmware uh, it will reboot and then what you need to do is reformat the card and then uh, just check the, the firmware has been updated uh, but before you do that just make sure that you've uh, got plenty of battery just in case you don't want it to uh, pack in halfway through the upgrade it, it don't take long it probably takes about one or two minutes for it to uh, upgrade the new firmware uh, but that that will sort any issues and bugs out that it had before uh, I think it improves the uh, images on these stills but there's like I say if you go to the site uh, just check check them out at the resource part and uh, it'll tell you what the upgrades are for so we uh, start off with then we'll just get on with it so I'll switch it on it's basically just press down on the power button and on the OK side of this is where you uh, set it for feel more pictures so I'm just going to try and focus it in there. You can see me focusing it in hopefully. And we're about there. Just put my glasses on, that helps. There's a cat down there, I'm sure there is, I should have saw it. I think, uh, Gone for a drink, I think. I probably can't see it. Zoom in a bit. Zoom. 
Now if I can zoom in onto that little King Henry VIII down there. Right? Yeah, there we go. Nice and clear. We've zoomed in ten times at that. It's on the 35mm lens, remember? Now there is a cat down there, but I can't see the damn thing. Must have fell in the pond. Right, so very clear look. Let's see if we can do a picture photo. So that's a 35mm. So what I'm going to do now, powered off. And that what I'm going to do now is take the, uh, the lens off. So basically we're turning over, pull back on the unlock catch, turn it to the right and it'll come out. Like I say, it will make all the difference uh, when you're zooming in. Oh, the cat, I can see the cat now. We'll get him with the uh, with the 50 mm lens. Uh, so I mean, these aren't just for shooters. These uh, cameras, they're for anybody naturists or anybody that likes the outdoor world, or just if you want to record things at night. Missing that. Right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to screw the daylight cap back on. I know what it's doing, it's looking for them bloody blue tits we've got down there. Okay, so basically pull back on the catch, push in. in there, won't come out. So turn back on. I need to refocus now. So there's the cat. It needs to get a bit in the way. Doing my shooting box, not a silly sock. Right, I'm just going to uh, zoom in. Ten times this time, it's a lot closer. Look, again. Well, there. Well, there goes the three-legged cat. Look. So it's about tw it, it zooms in about twice as much for the size of the lens. So we have actually got blue tips in there. zooms in, doesn't it? Jesus. Is that 20 times? Let's see if we can focus it any better. We can find it now. Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, up.
trying to fix it now it's the wrong way. So when you focus in, uh, when you zoom in, it magnifies your movement. So let's zoom back out. in that so it really does make a big difference that's gone okay then so that is uh, first looks through the 50mm lens and I think you'll agree it, it's made a big difference from the 35mm um, you can get in a really close you get a really clear picture so I'm going to do a similar thing tonight at night time and see, uh, see how it does at night but it should pick up more light anyway so it should improve nighttime vision as well so uh, I'm going to do some more ratting I'll use this as the uh, main camera and uh, what, I, what I do through the rifle scope you'll see that separately so uh, that's the first part of the video daytime use oh, let's say if you go on the website you've got quite a lot of new things now they've come out with uh, new NV100 scope add-on attachments for smaller size uh, so if you've got a small a small scope you could, it will even fit those now it will probably fit uh, telescopes for stargazing as well so uh, we have got those uh, you can buy these in a lot of different configurations the MV200 you can buy it as just a binocular or you can buy it with the laser range finder or you, if you've already got the binocular you can buy an add-on range finder uh, you can buy it with even the 35 or the 50mm lens as well or buy them separately so you can gradually build up your selection of lenses as they come out and a really good piece of kit to me this is the best uh, binocular that you can buy uh, at, a, at a good price 
it does a lot of things. It, it ranges to target. Uh, it's a range from three yards out to infinity, which uh, for this would be whatever the uh, whatever the night vision will allow you to do, then whatever it is in the daytime. I'm not quite sure. It's probably about 600 meters daytime. Uh, but yeah, really good piece of kit. Something everybody should have in a way, whether you shoot or not. Cause it uh, does a good job. But I'll show you uh, some of the items that's available now. Also got uh, different mats for mounting on your scope and things like that. A lot of accessories, so they are building up at one leaf for all the different uh, items that they sell. But, uh, definitely a, a growing company that's doing really well and uh, really good pieces of kit as well so in the next part of the video to be the night shooting uh, part or night vision should I say so uh, I'll catch you soon